Eating a healthy diet can be tricky because the advice feels like it's always changing. Beth Galvin shares some new advice. Between the produce aisles at our local grocery store and all the farmers markets out there, we have a lot of choices when it comes to healthy foods. But many of us tend to eat the same fruits and vegetables all the time. And that may be one of the mistakes tripping us up. If you're trying to eat a healthier, more balanced diet, Emory Healthcare internist Dr. Sharon Bergquist says you're probably getting bombarded by advice on foods you should stay away from. And we've developed a restriction mindset of what foods to avoid. We know to avoid red meats, processed meats, sugary drinks, desserts, and foods that contain sugar. And Dr. Burquist says that brings us to our first healthy eating mistake. We're focusing on avoiding rather than adding foods. So we're not eating enough fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, lentils. And when you look at the magnitude of deaths attributed to what we're not eating, it is many fold more than the deaths attributed to what we are eating. Another nutritional mistake we make, we're eating the same plant-based foods. So a lot of people will have a healthy smoothie for breakfast, a nice salad for lunch, and then a nice vegetable side with their dinner. But they get in a pattern where they're having the same smoothie, the same salad, the same broccoli with dinner, and they're losing that variety. Every time we eat a different plant food, Dr. Burquist says, we're getting a different blend of phytochemicals or plant chemicals that can offer antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-cancer benefits and help keep our gut healthy. And if we're only limiting ourselves to a small subset of the variety of phytochemicals, we're not maximizing the benefit for our overall health that we can get from plant food. Last up, Burquist says you've probably heard olive oil is a healthier fat, but she says we can get tripped up when we're overusing olive oil. All oil is incredibly fattening. One tablespoon is 120 calories, 13 grams of fat with very little nutritional value. So if you're looking for a healthy fat, she says choose something like walnuts or avocado, which have more nutrients and fiber than olive oil. I would not consider it a health food, but probably one of the healthier choices if you are going to use an oil to saute, make your vegetables, cook your meats in. And we talked about eating those healthy foods on repeat. And Dr. Bergquist says we cultivate about 150 plant-based foods, but on average, people eat only about 30 of them. For your Fox Medical team, I'm Beth Galvin.